My dearest Allie, standing here at our kitchen table at 1.30 in the morning on the day of our wedding, I can't help but think of leaving Pinedale. We drove and drove and drove, left the big sky behind and kept pushing west toward the ocean. I was so afraid. I had no prospects. But then I looked over at the passenger seat and saw you, and my fear burned away like the Cascadia mist in the warm summer sun. It was at that moment that I realized I didn't need to be afraid ever again because I would always have you sitting beside me, standing next to me and waiting for me with an open hand and heart. You often tell me that I need to be more selfish, but to me, I'm the most selfish man there is because all I've ever wanted is you. And I get you every single day, each night, through four seasons, in every time zone, through wildfires, blizzards, and rainstorms, just you and me. The first 27 years of my life were the loneliest I've ever been. And then I met you and I knew that everything that followed would be easy. Matt and Allie are newcomers to the Pacific Northwest, and the story of how they found one another spans this vast country. Our path to meeting is one for the books. Who could have dreamed up a New York boy and a Wisconsin girl meeting in the one state with the lowest population and the worst ratio of men to women? <laughs> Wyoming really is for lovers. Many of you know the story of Matt and Allie's first meeting, how a bearded journalist was undeterred by a sassy athlete's dismissals. My friend Amber introduced us and it was this weekend in Wyoming which is called Rendezvous Weekend. Basically people wear buckskins and they like grow their beards out and their hair out and it's like this big, yeah, and you drink a lot of whiskey. <laughs> We're so glad to have you all here. We love you all to death. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a fro out to here. His beard is like out to here. Really gross. Really gross and gangly and like, <laughs> Yeah. Allie just wanted absolutely nothing to do with me, and she actually looked at Amber and said, yeah, nice to meet you. Amber, we need to go. He was like trying to be so sweet. He's like, oh, Allie, hi, what do you do for a living? And I was like, I work at the clinic. Amber, we gotta go. I remember Allie saying to me, I just don't know, I'm not sure about this guy. You know, and she said something along the lines of, he's hairier than my naked uncle, which we were like, when, when have you seen our uncle naked? Rendezvous came and went, and I got, you know, shaved. I got my hair cut and my beard trimmed. His head was all shaved, and his beard was all shaved, and he was cleaned up, and he looked so good. She forges all of it. She put hops in here. She got these ferns out of the woods the other day. For two more years, Allie and Matt let their love bloom, along with the sage in Wyoming. But adventure kept calling, and so it is that Matt and Allie present themselves to be married today surrounded by the people they love most amidst the peacefulness of this wooded isle. I feel like everything in my life has led me to you. All of my choices, my heartaches, regrets, achievements, everything. And when you and I are together, my past seems worth it because if I had done even one thing different, I might have never met you. On this day, I vow to be yours forever, to place my hand in yours and walk beside you, upon that open, unknown road, in good times and bad, through hardships and joy, for now and forever. I vow to be the man you know I am capable of being, to be strong, to provide, and to protect, and to remember the lessons you've taught me, that life is meant to be lived, that adventure is meant to be shared, and that fear is irrelevant when the person you love is by your side. Are we doing this? Are you gonna come and get me? 
ready? I don't know if I'm ready or not. Holy shit, dude. I vow to be what you need when you need it. Where and when you are cold, there and then I bring warmth. Where and when you are uncertain, there and then I am encouraging. And where and when you will feel lost in the darkness, there and then I bring the light. I promise to always keep my story short and to get to the point quicker. <laughs> I promise to hold off on watching the next episode of whichever show we are into until we can watch it together. Yeah, right. <laughs> I promise to eat the leftovers I bring home from restaurants rather than allow them to rot in the fridge for seven days. <laughs>